CBS Sports coverage of the Final Four. How about this? Today's game is between the Butler Bulldog and the Purdue Boilermakers. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brack. And there is the starting lineup for each team. We have a great matchup with the Power Bulldogs. Sup guys, it's Alex here and welcome to the Final Four in Indianapolis. We are facing number uh I think it's five Purdue, seated number five, and we get the offense or we get the defensive rebound on our first play of the game. Driving, finding Gordon Hayward. This is where Gordon Hayward missed his shot. Hopefully we might get a rematch of the actual national championship game against Duke, which would be absolutely crazy to think about. But we just turn it over there. We're not gonna be going to the national championship game with that sort of offense. There's a guy coming off the screen, or not a screen, but just kind of rotating over there. Passing down low. Andrew Smith gets the block, but they get the offensive rebound. But they miss a shot. They get another offensive rebound. They miss another shot. Jeez. This is on all-conference difficulty, as every game has been so far. And, of course, we lose the ball there by Matt Howard. Can he get the... Oh, wow. This has not been a good start to the game. Both teams have been missing shots. Good start for us on defense, but I made mean, horrible start for us on offense. Oh, wow. As soon as I say that... The Purdue center drives right there. Uh, Purdue's actually rated like an A all around. I think we're like a B plus or something like that. Gordon Hayward for three. And, of course, he misses. Gordon Hayward cannot shoot from downtown or something like that. I don't know if I'm shooting bad with him, if I'm mistiming or whatever. But he has been absolutely garbage from downtown so far. But we get the turnover. Moving on the fast break. I really want to pass it out to number five who shoots the three and does not make the basket. Wow, we are, we, we got to get a point in this clip right here. We are down two to nothing already. A minute and a half is gone. Luckily, it's not too high scoring. Good defense by Matt Howard, but he gets the foul. Off the rebound. With six minutes to go, we are down eight to four, as you can see right there. I see you, Matt Howard, down low, but I see you, number five, in the corner for three. Make that splash. Splash! Let's go. Eight to seven. We are starting to come back a little bit. We are down six to nothing, but we're on a seven to two run since then. Shoving Max trying to get the steal right here. They got a guy in motion over there. Oh, they're passing number five. Battle of the Indiana teams. Trying to set up a rematch of the actual uh, 2010 championship game in Indianapolis. Oh, but they missed the shot against Duke. Against Duke. Come on, shoving Mac driving. Oh, he's spinning. Finding Gordon Hayward from mid. Gordon Hayward, make a freaking shot. Jeez, you've got to be like 10 for 60 in the tournament. Oh, my gosh. This dude is awful. But they haven't scored in about two minutes, as you can see right there. Let's try to keep it going. Oh, good defensive play by Andrew Smith. Gordon Hayward is dribbling the ball up the floor. And I shoot a three with Shovin Mack. And, of course, I miss. I guess Shovin Mack can only make threes from that other side of the court, as you've been telling from the second half in these last couple of videos that I've been doing. I guess Shovin Mack. This side isn't his forte. They throw the ball out of bounds. I guess they were trying an alley-oop right there. We got to take the lead on this possession. We can't. We can't let another chance to get the lead squander away from us. Shoving Matt kind of driving right there. Oh, no. Uh, oh, they called the block. I was about to say, if they call a charge on that, I was going to be mad. But we get another chance. Shoving Mac down low. Oh, what what happened there? How did we turn the ball over there? I don't understand. Well, let's try to get another steal here. They're looking on the... Oh, no, for three. Of course, he'd miss that. Andrew Smith with the rebound. Pushing the ball up the floor, finding Matt Howard. Come on, Matt Howard. Oh, with the contact, he misses, but he gets his own rebound. The putback. It goes 9-8. to eight. Let's go, Butler. So this game has been turning off, as you can see right there, 22% shooting for us. I mean, they're not shooting any better, 27%. But they find themselves up for us. See you, Matt Howard. Down low, you got to make that. How do you miss that, Matt Howard? Why are you fading away when I pass it to you down low right there down on the block? Trying to get the steal here. I mean, there's a guy wide open in the corner. There's a guy wide open in the corner. Go over there, Shelvin Mack. And, of course, this guy shoots the three, but he misses. Oh, but they get the offensive rebound. All right, Shelvin Mack gets the rebound. We haven't scored in about two minutes, as you can see right there. Matt Howard driving. Matt Howard driving and scoring. There we go. That's what we need to see out of you. I'll record the final minute or so. Matt Howard is now shooting three for eight. The entire team's just shooting awful. Got to stay on him here. They pass down low, shoving Mack with the block. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Andrew Smith gets the rebound, pushing the ball up the floor. Why not have Gordon Hayward shoot a three? And, of course, he misses. That's been such a common theme with Gordon Hayward. It kind of makes me mad. I don't know why he is so awful. I mean, he shoots threes in the NBA. He shot threes in college. Gordon Hayward with the steal, though. He's making up for it on the defensive end. 
I see you, Matt Howard. Dry oh, wow. Okay, I was about to say, if we lose that ball. All right, 27 seconds to go. Andrew Smith from the elbow. He knocks it down. Tie game with 20 seconds to go in the first half. 15 to 15. Very low scoring game. Hope you guys bet the under on this one. Got to play good defense. Got to stop him here. Eight seconds to go. We knock it loose. Pick it up, Hayward. Yes. Go, 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 go. I see you, Andrew, or Matt Howard. Oh, come on. We need to get the basket. Wow, of course we don't get the basket there. If they make that, okay, I was about to say, if they make that long range shot there, I was going to be just a bit mad. Look at those fans with just the P on it for Purdue. That was an awful first half performance by both teams, 15 to 15. This is kind of like that UConn Butler game to rush us off. Look at this, 25% shooting, 24% shooting. This has just been awful. Our rebounding numbers have been a bit bloated just because of all the misses. Let's try to get the lead here. Let's see if we can get going. Shovel Matt driving a little bit. Finding Matt Howard from the elbow. Oh, wow, Matt Howard can't get that basket right there. Andrew Smith can get it, but I don't know why Matt Howard can't get the elbow shot. Now Purdue gets another chance to take the lead. We're probably shooting 24% now as well. Be careful, Matt Howard. Purdue hasn't scored in about two minutes too. There's been a lot of <laughs> there's been a lot of scoreless streaks or whatever. Uh, I gotta stay on him. Looking down low. Good defense, but they get the shot to go. I mean, I'll give them credit there. That was a pretty good play. 17 to 15. We need to respond right here. Trying to get some moves on. Oh, I see you. I see you, number five over there for three. To take the lead, 18 to 17. <laughs> Let's go. Off the miss. Oh gosh, what? We're on an 11 to two run. That was a really bad pass. I did not recommend passing that. But Gordon Hayward's driving, finding Matt Howard down low. You got to make that man over Robbie Hummel. Gets it to go. 20. I think Robbie Hummel is number four on Purdue. 24 to 17. We're on a 13 to two run. They need a timeout. Woo! Let's go. 24 to 17. We are already almost outscoring that first half in the first like two and a half minutes of this game. We scored nine points already. Oh, that was close to being a backcourt violation. Trying to knock it loose again. Yeah, I got caught reaching. Oh, wow. He just drove it on us there. 24 to 19. Purdue's trying to get back into this game. We can stay ahead. Stat pack. They're leading the rebounding battle. But I see Gordon Hayward over there. The Come on, make it. He made it. Gordon Hayward made a three. <laughs> Let's go, Gordon Hayward. Finally showing up. I mean, it took you like five or six games, however many games we've played so far. Show Matt got caught reaching. 27 to 19. Can we extend this game a little bit further? If we score three more points, we'll have already uh, gotten the amount of points we scored in the first half. Trying to reach right here. And, of course, yeah, I got caught reaching again. We'll try to get another offensive possession in this clip. See what happens. Maybe we can get a defensive stop that turns into offense. Shoving back. Ah, I thought he was going to be able to knock it loose right there. Kind of like that game against North Carolina. Looking in the corner right here. Passing. Shoving back. Gets the block. Let's go. Number five running in transition. I uh, kind of get stopped a little bit. A little spin move right there. Finding it. Or Matt Howard down low. With the contact. Does not get it to go. They have a chance to get another basket here. They have a chance to bring it to within six. Do not want to see that happen. I'm trying to reach again, but I don't want to get called for another foul. Oh, there's a guy wide open over there. Okay, we got somebody rotating on him. I think that was Robbie Hummel. No threes, no threes. If that's a three, okay. They miss. We get a chance to score another basket right here. Shoving back, pushing the ball up the floor again. Why not find Gordon Hayward for two in a row? Yeah, that was a bit of wishful thinking. So Purdue has just made a three to bring it to within three. Still a pretty low scoring game. 31 to 28. Matt Howard with the turnaround shot. And he misses, no! 31 to 28, as you can see right there. This is not looking good. We were up 31 to 23, but we haven't scored in like three minutes or something like that. Purdue now can bring it to a thin one, and they do! This is not good. 31 to 30. We have 11 blocks, as you can see right there, shoving Mac. No foul, ref, no foul? With the contact? Look at this, 29% shooting, they're 31%. Wow, Purdue could take the lead on this possession, be on a 9-0 run. If they get a basket here, I'm calling a timeout. we got to stop this momentum. All right, they miss. We get the rebound. Okay. Whew. Made me nervous there. Two minutes to go, one-point game. Can't ask for a closer game. Oh, come on. Chauvin Mack, you got to lay it up stronger than that, big guy. Wow. 31-30. to 30. We do have the possession arrow, but there's hardly ever any jump balls on NCAA Basketball 10. Doesn't really matter there. 
We can't get allow a basket. Matt Howard, defensive play with the block. <laughs> I just see old defensive play. Oh no, but they they caught us sleeping. I was trying to pass to Gordon Hayward there. Very low scoring game. This might be like 35 to 34 or something like that. Hopefully, good defense, Shelvin Mack. Wow, they get the basket there. Look at this lead changes. We had an eight point lead as I mentioned earlier. 31 to uh, 31 to 23, but we haven't been able to do anything since then. Gordon Hayward's trying to get something going. Doing a little spin move right there, but number five for three. He missed. Oh, that looks so good, though. The shot looks so good. Oh, no, they're driving. They're driving, but we get a good defensive stop. All right, let's, let's call a timeout. Get everybody set up. Oh, man, this is making me nervous. 31 to 32 with a minute to go. We have not been able to get anything going on offense. Shoving Matt coming out of the play, coming out of the timeout. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to get a three there. That would have been huge. And instead, we're still down by one. Good defensive uh, play by Matt Howard. He gets the rebound. Oh, no. Gordon Hayward gets the rebound. But we're still pushing the ball up in transition. Gordon Hayward. No foul, ref. Come on. You got to call a foul somewhere. That's like three plays where I should have gotten a foul at our last four besides that three-point shot that I took. All right, we can't allow a three. No threes. Preferably a defensive stop, but I don't know. We've been getting kind of lucky recently. Oh, I was about to block that. I was about to block that. No way. No way. He misses a three, and we get the rebound. 23 seconds to go. Shelvin Mack pushing the ball in transition. Just a mid-range shot for number five. He gets it to go. 33 to 32. <laughs> this is such low scoring, but, I mean, I'll take it if we can get the victory. This has been an ugly game. 33 to 32. We need to get a stop here. Come on, crunch time, clutch time, whatever you want to call it. Calling back from QJB right there. They're trying to get a pick play from Robbie Hummel. Eight seconds to go. This is making me nervous. We're not going to have much time to respond. Oh, no. He got us in the air. He missed, but he gets the offensive rebound. No way. Wow. 31, 33 to 34. We got to get a timeout. It's going to come down to the final shot. We might. This might be it, folks. 33 to 34. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Oh, man. I'm so nervous. 33 to 34. We're going to have to get a three or something out of the timeout. Shoving Max open right here for the win. We made it! We made it! Oh my gosh, Shoving Max! Buzzer beater! <laughs> Second game in a row! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, we did it! Holy crap! Another close game. We literally won at the buzzer. Of course, Shelvin Mack is the player of the game. We are going to the national championship game. What a shot. Onions, whatever you want to call it. I am so freaking hyped right now. Let's go, Shelvin Mack. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. 11.7 assists. I thought I was done for. They literally scored a basket with 1.6 seconds left. Holy crap, man. I mean, Matt Haver got 10 points. Shovin Mack got 11. I want to see what the field goal percentages were for the teams. Holy crap. We shot 29%. They shot 32. 24% from deep. Wow. What a game. And so, as a result, we will be playing Duke in the national championship game. Literally a rematch of what happened in real life. I don't know. I don't think the seeds are correct, but who cares with that? In Indianapolis, Gordon, we're going to be throwing it back to Gordon Hayward's last second shot. Hopefully we can get revenge, but if we don't, I mean, Duke is obviously a much better team than we are. But I'm just so freaking pumped we made that shot. Next video will be the national championship game against Duke. Let's freaking go!